Well, meanwhile, San Francisco is making another move to resist federal immigration law. The self-titled sanctuary city hoping to use taxpayer dollars to hire lawyers for illegal residents. This all comes as a judge is considering a lawsuit filed by the family of Kate Stanley. You know, she was shot and killed, allegedly, by an illegal immigrant. Her parents arguing that she would still be alive if the city had obeyed requests to detain her suspected killer. Claudia Cowan, live in San Francisco, with more on this disturbing case and the developments. Hi, Claudia. Good morning, Eric. That's right, San Francisco doubling down on its sanctuary city status, now considering a proposal to hire more lawyers to help defend illegal immigrants who are facing deportation, including those who've been arrested for committing other crimes here in this country. At a recent rally here outside City Hall, a former detainees in the Bay Area said their lack of access to an immigration lawyer turned their lives upside down, and they're worried about President-elect Donald Trump's promise to deport millions of illegal immigrants. County Supervisor David Campos argues everyone deserves the same access to public resources and defends this use of tax dollars. We're going to invest uh, the resources needed to make sure that the 44,000 undocumented people who live in the city and county of San Francisco have, at a minimum, legal representation if they're taken into immigration court. But Eric, critics say moves like this just continue to roll out the welcome mat for illegal immigrants. They have concerns about securing the border. We're going to be following this story. We'll have more for you later. Back All right, Claudia. Thanks so much. Martha?